You built a shed and now you need power. Couple ways to go about this. Before you start, make sure you have enough space left on your main panel and power coming in from the street to meet the power needs of your new outbuilding. Add a sub panel. Wire the shed. Run a trench through your yard. Decide that you don't want to do this anymore. Consider hiring an electrician to do it for you. Wait times and prices may vary drastically. Or try the alternative option. Solar power. I obviously went with the alternative. No digging, no sub panels, no sweat. For my setup, I purchased a Blue Eddy AC200 Max, three 200 watt portable solar panels, four Coda LED shop lights, one four foot power strip, and one Tamac weatherproof electrical outlet cover. I placed my Blue Eddy on the shelf under the workbench near the window and screwed the power strip into the wall next to the bench. The installation of the Coda lights is about as easy as it gets. They come with a little cardboard template and all the fasteners needed to mount them. Screw in the two clips, then snap the light into place. Plug it in and voila, you have light. Mount the additional lights, then plug them into the outlets on the end of the previous light to chain them together. This is where I'll mount the outlet box and run the solar panel cable to the outside. Plug in the solar panel charging cable. Lights are hung and the power station is charging. This entire installation took less than an hour. As you can see, the four shop lights are drawing approximately 45 watts and the single solar panel is bringing in more than 150 watts of power. Between charges, I can run the shop lights for approximately 40 to 45 hours. I know what you're saying but I need to power more than just a couple lights. Well, I can run every power tool I own off of this unit. If you can run it off of a regular 20 amp household outlet, then you can run it off the AC200 Max. Table saw, chop saw, skill saw, no problem. This thing is a little powerhouse. You might be wondering why I didn't get fixed solar panels. I wanted to use the solar generator for more than just powering the shed. I wanted to be able to do stuff like take it camping. Also a nice plus is if there's a power outage, I could grab the Blue Eddy from the shed and bring it into the house as a small power backup. You might be asking yourself, what if it's cloudy? If the weather isn't cooperating, you can always bring it inside and charge it with the AC adapter. It takes in nearly 500 watts of power from the AC adapter, so it'll charge the unit pretty quickly and you'll be back in business in no time. For the exterior lighting, I'm keeping it solar. I went with three solar-powered wall lights with motion sensors. These lights have been out and exposed to the elements for about two years now and are still going strong. The AC200 Max is a pretty cool little off-grid power unit and I've been super happy with it so far. I give it two thumbs up.